Have you ever wondered if our ancestors understood DNA long before we discovered it? It's a tantalizing question, one that invites us to dive deep into the annals of human history and unravel the mysteries that lie therein. Let's cast our minds back to ancient times when the staff of Asclepius, a symbol steeped in legend and lore, was held in high regard. This staff, often depicted as a single rod entwined by a serpent, was closely associated with healing and medicine. It was a beacon of hope, a symbol of rejuvenation, and a testament to the resilience of life. In essence, it was a representation of the cyclical nature of existence, of death and rebirth, of the constant dance of creation and destruction. Now let's shift our gaze from the past to the present, from myth to reality. We turn to the structure of DNA, the very fabric of life. The DNA molecule with its double helix shape is a marvel of nature, the reason behind the complexity and beauty of life. This structure, with its two intertwined strands, bears a striking resemblance to the serpentine shape coiled around the staff of Asclepius. This parallel is not merely superficial. The staff with its serpent is a symbol of healing and renewal, much like DNA, which contains the instructions for life, for growth and for healing. The double helix shape of the DNA molecule, like the serpent coiled around the staff, reflects the cyclical nature of life itself a visual representation of the constant interplay of creation and destruction, of birth and death. So is it possible that our ancestors, in their wisdom, had an intuitive understanding of the intricate blueprint of life? Did they symbolize this knowledge through the staff of Asclepius, creating a visual metaphor that transcends time and culture? Perhaps our ancestors had an intuitive understanding of life's blueprint, symbolized through the staff of Asclepius. And as we delve deeper into this fascinating connection, we uncover a profound truth that the wisdom of the past continues to illuminate our understanding of the present. But how did we move from symbolic representations to scientific understanding? A fascinating question indeed. Let's delve into the evolution of our understanding of DNA, which is as winding as the double helix itself. Our journey starts in the late 19th century with the discovery of chromosomes, the structures within our cells that hold our genetic material. The term chromosome, meaning colored body, was coined by German anatomist Walter Fleming, who was the first to observe these structures during cell division. Fast forward to the early 20th century when the baton was picked up by the fly room at Columbia University, led by Thomas Hunt Morgan. Morgan and his team used fruit flies, with their rapid reproduction rates, to demonstrate that chromosomes were indeed responsible for inheritance. Yet, the molecule of inheritance within these chromosomes remained a mystery until the mid-20th century. Enter Rosalind Franklin, James Watson and Francis Crick, who, through a combination of experimental data and model building, discovered the double helix structure of DNA. This was the key that unlocked our understanding of how information is stored and transmitted from one generation to the next. Now let's switch lanes to the staff of Asclepius, a symbol with a history as rich as DNA's. Its origins trace back to Greek mythology, where Asclepius, the god of medicine and healing, wielded a staff around which a single snake was coiled. This symbol has endured through the centuries, with the staff and snake representing healing and renewal. In modern times, the staff of Asclepius has been adopted by medical institutions worldwide as a symbol of health and healing. Its serpentine shape has also found resonance with the double helix of DNA, symbolizing the role of genetic science in modern medicine. While our understanding has evolved, the symbolic link between the staff of Asclepius and DNA remains. Both are emblems of life, renewal and healing, and both continue to guide us on our quest to unravel the mysteries of life. How does this ancient symbol connect to our modern understanding of DNA? Today, DNA is at the forefront of modern medicine. It guides everything from genetic testing, which can forewarn us of potential health risks, to personalized medicine, where treatments are tailored to an individual's unique genetic makeup. This echoes the staff of Asclepius, an enduring emblem of healing and medicine. 
Intriguingly, the serpentine shape of this symbol mirrors the structure of DNA. A twisted ladder or double helix. This resemblance is more than mere coincidence, it's a visual reminder of the link between our biological makeup and our health. The staff of Asclepius, with its coiled serpent, continues to be a potent symbol of medicine and healing, its relevance unmarred by the passage of time. In essence, both DNA and the staff of Asclepius represent the profound connection between life, health and healing, a connection that remains as relevant today as it was in ancient times.